every time I load up this world, I smile. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey guys, you're watching because you want to only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Spaceship. So, last episode, we built the. What, or one of the weapons that are going to be on our ship. Using slime blocks, we were able to make a weapon come in and out. When it's in, it looks sick. It looks so cool. I also replicated the same thing, exactly what we done last episode on the other side. Um, and when it's out, it comes out by two blocks. So it actually comes well away from the building, just being held on by these little spokes. It looks so cool, but there's definitely some adjustments that need to be made to make it a little bit smoother. Something like this there looks amazing. Okay, that sort of takes away the harshness, I think, is the... The best word. Um, in fact, if we do all of these as furnaces. See, that just it just blends that weapon away a little bit. It looks like it's ch uh, like a charger or something like that. We can see this redstone on the inside, but there's nothing we can do about that. We can't cover these blocks up here because that's where the weapon goes. The weapon actually goes right along there. So there's nothing we can really do about that. So we're going to ignore it. And I, I really like how it looks anyway. I'm really not bothered uh, by how, how it appears. I was just wondering, if we put this in, if a furnace was there, uh, I got <laughs> so hard, crouch click on there, and then slab, uh, just, a, just an experiment, just an experiment, slab, slab, and I need to somehow get a stair on there. Does that look good or is that now looking too big? Because when it's in, it's like that. And then when it comes out, it sort of connects up to it. It does look pretty sick when it's out. I'm not sure if I like it, though, having it like this when it's in. No, I think I like that i i just do, i was doing that because when it comes out you can see the slime block at the back here but the slime block isn't really that bad and yes you can see the slime blocks from underneath it when the weapon's out anyway so we'll just we won't worry about it i think that's the easiest <laughs> easiest way we won't worry about it for now there's the sort of touching up things that we do towards the end today i really want to get a load of body shell work in so as you guys I, oh, as i said last episode I want this black strip to get wider as it goes down the ship and maybe even wrap up at the bottom of the ship. That's the sort of plan that I was thinking. So something like this. These coal look really weird on anything but like side on because they have like weird parts on them. I don't know. So what we're doing is we're going really, really simple at the moment. We're not worrying about rounding anything out. We're just going straight down. Everything's very straight edges. After we've got this on both sides and we sort of like the shape of it, we can then tweak it to appear how we want or, you know, tweak it to uh, to just be just how we like it. So we're going to do those down there. Put a white one. I love this white border at the top. That's going to make a huge difference. And then this comes out here. I don't want it to come too far. I don't want to go right to the back of the ship. I think that's the best way. I don't want it to go right to the back of the ship. But I do want it to come a really far away. Because I just love how it looks. Like this. I'm going to drop it down here. Okay, let's go with that. Back off and have a look. That's looking so cool. That's looking so cool. Remember, we'll we'll round sections off as well because like here looks a little bit square. See that? That will be rounded off, but we'll do that at the end after we've mirrored it on the other side. Okay, so we are going to want to start rounding this off at the bottom of the ship at about here, maybe even a little bit before. Maybe I should have done it like this. Yeah, that's better. Oh, I forgot the coal one at the top. 
<laughs> it's not coal. What are you talking about, AJ? Uh, it's apparently cold or cold coal or. Um, people saying, look at this in the default texture pack. I will once it's done. I'll look at it in the default texture pack once it's done. I'm not going to do it now, though. Uh, you know, we've only just started. We're in like six six episodes, is it? Six episodes in. I'm not going to go that. Uh, I'm not going to look at it in the default texture pack this close. Or this soon, if you like. To, um, to the series being started. And then out here. Oh, doesn't doesn't that look so awesome though okay i actually want it to get steeper quicker i'm actually going to start steeping it here and then bring it down like really sharp so we're going to add these ones and then back this way to that one these ones this is going to be so impossibly hard <laughs> to mirror oh man what am i putting myself through like that and then like this and i want this to wrap around the bottom of the ship and connect up to the other side something like that oh that looks so cool that looks so cool and then i want this to end off by coming out at an angle maybe to here so let's do the white run around the top. You know what I'm going to do? I'll do the other side off camera. How about that? In between episodes, I'll do the other side. And then it saves us doing the same thing twice per episode, doesn't it? I think you guys will like that better. And uh, <laughs> we get more done as well. This is a big old project. This is not a an easy project just to do uh, in a few episodes. Okay. So we'll start... Pulling this out. Again, we're keeping it very square at the moment. Not really doing too much with the uh, the shape and rounding it off. But if you do that too early on, you get too caught up in it. Okay, so from there, I want this to start angling down this way. So I want it to be quite a sharp one. Maybe a complete diagonal, like every block. No, I think every other block. So this one. And then this one here. Need to make sure we're keeping it in line with the, the curve of the ship, though. That's the hardest part. Like, making sure that we're still curving it as it gets wider. And then this one. No, I want to go in a block. Like this. That one that one dude i'm never i'm never gonna get this the same on both sides am i ever <laughs> um i'm actually gonna do that keep it keep it blocky and square at the minute so we've gone we've gone down those two and then we want this one like that yeah these ones we're nearly there now and finally, that one. Now, check out this shape. I mean, how cool is that? It gets wider, it goes down really sharp, then comes up sharp. That, oh, words cannot express how much I'm feeling this ship right now. It just looks totally, totally awesome. I am going to cut away. I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side, though. I should be back. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm. So, can you tell I'm excited? It's both the same on the other side now. Still need to curve it out and stuff, but it doesn't actually look too bad at the moment. That will be curved out towards the end. Uh, but now we need to start shaping this bottom because I wanted to have them join up together. So what we're going to do is keep it nice and simple here. We're going to do two blocks from that one, three blocks from the next row. One, two, three, four blocks from that row. Okay, that's nice and easy to remember. Two blocks. Three blocks. One, two, three, four blocks. Perfect. And then underneath here, I think this is where we're actually going to start getting thicker. Yeah, or we'll, we'll start matching up this one. Maybe this should actually be dropped down by one. Yeah. Let's do that. 
and then take these away. Whoops. Uh, put that back. <laughs> oh, yeah. I nearly used cobblestone, um, silverfish mossy cobblestone instead of the normal one. I was like, oh, man, that is close. If we had done that, that would have been terrible. We would have been in so much trouble, you wouldn't have even understood. <laughs> we could have been making a whole ship out of silverfish blocks and not figuring out until the end. Ooh. Now that is scary. That's something scary. Okay, I think I just like that shape for the moment. And then replace these. Oops. Replace these ones. And I think I want this underneath going to a point. I would say normally, ordinarily, that the bottom of the ship isn't that important to to do. It's not that important to, to worry about detail on. However, oh, they've moved the splash potion. Is that there now? Um, no, that's not either. That's not Splash. Where they moved Splash to? Splash Potion of Swiftness 2. Okay, I've got a new spot now to learn where that is. Oh, that's annoying. And now I've forgotten what I was saying. Screw you, 4J, for moving all the stuff around. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the bottom. Uh, I usually would say don't worry about the bottom too much. However, because our... Our ship is in mid-flight, like it's actually above. Doing that is actually quite important. Doing the bottom of it is quite important because if you don't, whenever you look at the ship from underneath, it's always going to look a little bit blank, isn't it? So you're going to want to to make sure you do the bottom. <laughs> I said bottom. <laughs> I will have it to there. And that's where it'll sort of the black will ease out. I really like that. I really, really like that. I think that looks so sick. But can you see how this ship is almost building itself? Once you get the skeleton in, it's just a matter of like putting the flesh on it. And it, half of it does it by itself. You just have to do the sort of hard work initially. Let's do a little bit on the top here. So I want a slightly different color to this gray. Maybe a slightly lighter one to this gray to go underneath those. In slabs would be wonderful, but not those ones. Oh, what about some of these ones in between? Oops. Oh, but we can't turn them, can we? That's the annoying thing. Okay, no, no, no. I can't. I don't want them then. Um, what about... Oh, these ones. These are a little bit darker. I said... I, oh, I've got to sneeze. Choo! Choo! Okay, I'm good. I said I wanted lighter... Uh, but these are a little bit darker, but I think they'll do the same job. I think they'll still do a good job of what we want. I'm going to put that one there and extend that one forward. And basically, we're going to wrap these around our vent things that we have here. I don't know what they are. Radiators, cosmic bands. You, <laughs> you guys can call it what you like. I think I'm actually going to run these around here like that maybe just to there for the minute because I don't like how those slabs were sort of connecting together do you know what I mean but this will look a lot better okay um, <laughs> we're gonna have to make up some really cool words for the rooms and and the technology of how this spaceship flies maybe you guys can let me know uh, maybe it runs on ender flux or something like that ground up no because that would be teleporting maybe we could have a teleporter that runs on end of flux or something like that why are these not why does something oh i see um you know maybe we can have a a teleporter that runs on end of flux or something like that sounds cool uh to, to teleport around the ship instead of having stairs uh but the main engines i don't know um like ground creepers or something like that to give the explosion you need i don't know <laughs> you guys are better at coming up with those sort of things than i am okay i really like this block that i've used here so i think what we're going to do next is bring this down around this area by one block there's gonna be a lot of detail towards the end of this build uh, of, of a little bit more shaping 
and adding colors and cutting bits away. I must say, this is very much the proto build at the moment. It's going to get so tuned. Hopefully, as we go, because I don't want to do a load of tuning at the end. But it's going to get so tuned that it's going to look a lot more rounder and clean than what it currently does. But how sick does that look? I would really like a little bit of a ramp using some stairs. We have these blocks here. Oh, what if we... Oops. Went around like this. Do I like that? I think I do. I think I really like that. It just lifts that up a little bit. It's then not straight into two or one and a half blocks high wall. It sort of rounds it off a little bit. Plus, you can jump over it and you can move around it and get on it if you are ever on top of the ship. Yeah, that looks sick, sick, sick. Okay, we might as well do this little front section or at least try and figure out how we want it to go. I think we want to have these coming around here and notice as well i'm trying to keep the interior of the ship as clean as possible by that i mean i haven't got random blocks splayed about like this where they're not needed because that when it comes to doing the interior of the ship we'll have the maximum amount of room that we possibly can have and it'll really really help out because this isn't a mothership this isn't like the a main you know the, the main heart of of the army this is I, I'm, I'm thinking of this as more of a warrior ship. Do you know what I mean? Like a, one, of, one of a fleet. You can have a fleet of like a thousand of these. And this is just one of them. People were saying put little hangers in for smaller ships to go in. I might be able to do that on one of the, on, on one of the sides maybe. Or on both of the sides. Uh, but it would have to be a very small ship that comes in here. Because this isn't a huge ship. This is more of a, a battle, battle ship than a, than a mother ship. So yeah, I think we can probably get a a door uh like a cargo door or something like that for a smaller ship to get in but nothing too crazy big we don't want nothing too crazy big okay now we've got this little tiny space to fill up i really like using the slabs you get a lot of depth with them what way does this face that way don't like it if it faced the other way we might have been able to do something about it we should have really built the ship going facing like that way or that way <laughs> I would have made some of the blocks a little bit more useful, but they'll come in handy later on. Um, ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. These are full blocks. What is it? Stone brick. We have stone brick half slabs. I like that. That one, that one, that one. That one, that one, that one, that one. Oh, check that out for like a diagonal zigzag. Oh, that's pretty sick. I didn't even mean to do that. That's unintentional. Um, you guys probably, yeah, you're probably nowhere near as excited I am for building this ship. I, I I'm looking forward to it so much. Uh, so many possibilities you can do in the interior and and all the different options that we have and blocks available to us with this mashup pack. Uh, it gives us quite the quite the ability to come up with something completely unique and never been done before. This space in the middle, we've got space for like some color. So I'm thinking like a red. I don't I don't want that red. That's the red that we're using at the back. Um, and I don't want to use the blue because that's what we've got around the side. But oh, what about some soul sand? Oh yeah. Oh yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yes. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Oh, we're walking slow because we're on top of soul sand. That's pretty interesting. Um, I don't know what we'd use soul sand for to slow us down on in the ship. Maybe you guys can think of a room that we can use soul sand to make it really slow. Like a time warp room or something like that. And when you walk through it, you're slow and you come out later in time that's pretty interesting isn't it okay that looks sick. Sick, sick 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 okay and then i want maybe some cobblestone walls above them on top of them just really cool little detail parts they like maybe they generate the power for the ship maybe do you know what i mean like 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 life solar light solar energy 
hits these, and these are like little solar um, panels, and that charges up the ship's power. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta think about these things. Gotta think about them. Um, I'm thinking about something here. They, these three blocks look a little bit blank. Uh, even if it's just by putting like a single block in or something just to to stand make it stand out a little bit hmm we have got a lot of blue at ooh. Ooh. we've got a lot of blue at the front of this ship so I don't want to go too crazy oh look at this oh no I don't want it there put it back I can't get under put it back for this one here these are like ventilation fans oh can we get them facing up or... yes I can uh, but it works on where the blocks place doesn't it these ones do like that one and like that one perfect get on top yeah they're like little ventilation fans lets out uh, radiation energy from the sun that we don't want so it vents them out of there or something like that <laughs> so many cool things having for time I think that is all we've got time for this episode but the the front of the ship or the you know the top of the front of the ship is now pretty much complete apart from some fine tuning and some detail blocks later on a lot of the bodywork at the front there is now complete we can even start to see maybe how big our interior is going to be see we've got a lot of room in here yeah there's a lot of room in here but obviously the back of the ship is where most of the uh rooms are going to be like the main command center room and stuff will be at the back here probably around this floor and then we need uh, an engine room like right behind here venting out to here so we'll have a wall that might curve down or something like that. We'll worry about the interior later on. We don't need to worry about it now. If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We should see you in the next episode. Bye!